What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to Dream Team Chronicles. We're back, man. We're back, and we're going to be starting straight into a game. Just take a quick look at my game plan here. Get my inbox items. Retrieve all those. It's been a few days since I've played, lads. I've been really, really busy. Hopefully, we will be streaming, depending on when I upload this video. Hoping to upload it on Wednesday evening, and then stream Thursday. We will be playing our subscriber showdown as normal. Had a bit of a mixed bag with this one. I did plan on doing it live, but unfortunately, I was not able to live com this one or live record but we did get some good clips here and we are going to be doing two more player reviews i was testing out mudrick and cavaradona as well on the right and left flank we already did felix we will be doing a player review on him now i will say right for full disclosure showing you guys this team that i was coming up against i mean i have got a completely beast squad compared to this guy's team my opponent didn't have a great team but Oh man, I haven't played in a few days and it, and it tells. I was so rusty, the movement felt so clunky to me. Responsiveness seems to be better, but I still think that there's just there's such issues, man, with the passing. I think there's also such issues now with the referees and the collisions. And, you know, there's just, yeah, I mean, the same legacy issues that have been there since V1.2, I think are continuing to dominate my opinions on the game. Now, I will do a bit of a catch up on that and I will touch on it in the live stream tomorrow. But yeah, it just feels a little bit chaotic at times, man. I do think that going forward, I am scoring a lot more goals. And obviously, something that I've complained about with a lot is that. That Romario turn there, that little kind of like flick past and turn in the defender. That is hard to do um, with, you know, like a lot of players. But Romario is one of the best in the business at doing it. But you were not able to do that in the last patch. So I do like V2.4 in terms of the responsiveness, in terms of the kind of favor that it has towards an attacking player but I don't like that it's coming at the cost of defensive um you know lack of defensive cover and lack of defensive awareness that's not AI aided so to speak so I will cover that in the live stream tomorrow but before v2.4 even if I came up against a guy that I kind of knew I was um you know I was a bit better than or I had a better team than I was struggling to put you know two three goals past somebody whereas with this match in the first 20-25 minutes, I kind of knew once I started getting used to it again, because it's been about like four or five days since I've played divisions. Um, I just, you know, I was just kind of like flow, free flowing with the ball and the goals were just going to keep coming and coming and coming. And I had a very, very big win in this game. You'll see some of the goals I got were fairly decent. Some of the goals I got were fairly kind of clunky, but they all count. And there was a lot of nice free flowing moves. That would have been a beautiful goal there. And that's kind of more reminds me of V1.0 going forward. I think that that's how I would describe this game is defensively, this game it needs a lot of work but going forward I think that there is a very very nice flow to this game now that if you play a certain way which for me is out wing out wide you'll see on my wings here it's all about beating the man getting the space and you'll see that even though um, his defenders are going to get back I am just getting so many chances so many areas that I can dominate in especially from cutting in now I am going to be doing a very important video wingers versus left and right midfielders and why you should pick one or the other depending on your play style but you will We'll get a look of, at that in my reviews and training guides for Mudrik and Cavaradonna because they both are available on nominating contracts and I genuinely think they are beastly players on the wing but look you have to be able to play that way um, I'm not the best at playing centrally you know with a lot of intricate one touch passing it just doesn't suit my play style I'm more about kind of space. I'm more about getting a lot of ground uh, in front of me and then having a lot of options on to take my time. Little sweaty finish here and a cross behind with Pedri. And it was 2-0. He had a man sent off. And you know what was going to be coming then. It was just going to be piling, piling on. So I even did skip over a goal or two in this one because I'm saving it for the reviews. But yeah, Mudrik was causing absolute mayhem on the wings. Absolute beast. Um, but you can see some of the defensive issues there. I mean, defenders just falling over. Um, the animations kind of kicking in when they shouldn't be kicking in. So yeah, we will get into that in another video. Um, but I am kind of skipping on a few goals because I did get, give this guy a bit of a battering. But to be honest, lads, I mean, his team just... You know, compared to my team strength, nothing really got to do with even me as a player or him as a player. Um, but, you know, this guy was just very unfortunate to come up against a squad like mine. It's happened to me before when I've come up against full epic squads and you just get blown away early doors, you know. So um, it is what it is. That's just all part of the journey with divisions and with eFootball League. But we do get to win there. And we do continue on. We did get promotion there as well. As I said, I just caught out a lot of that um, game there with division 
six to five, I think it is. Um, but in this game, this was similar. This was a similar, a similar pattern to it. It's all about wing play. I think people have just become so used to defending central areas that when they come up against somebody such as myself or such as somebody that plays very dominantly um, or like wing centric and plays very like out wide and just tries to exploit space that way rather than through the middle. That's terrible defending there from Maldini just completely switched off. And on another day, lads, I'm going to concede a goal there and it's going to be infuriating because I can do nothing. I'm struggling, fighting with the controller and the response to get back with Maldini. And it just doesn't happen. And then we get a break. Gakpo, I don't know what he's doing, man, there with the touches. Absolutely shocking. Trade back into Zico, who you can see there. Zico's um, stamina, lads. We are going to do a video on that as well. You can see all the stamina the players here with 36, 37 minutes gone is shocking. So we will touch on that as well um, in another video. There's a lot of videos to get through because V2.4 has changed a lot of stuff. So chances are if you are watching old videos, um, you know, I'm going to have to update a lot of those for V2.4. But we were peppering this guy. We did have the measure of him. And then on the 40th minute, it took a little bit of magic. Cut back, good clearance, drops, he tries to clear it, block with Pedri, and then it's into the back corner of the net. Top corner, beautiful, back of the net, smash, and Pedri is the main man for me. That's his new player of the week card. It's very, very decent, but all the cards interlink kind of fairly well. Um, so you don't need to worry too much, you know, about Pedri. Um, whatever, whatever cards you have of Pedri will, will, do the, will do the job. And as I said, lads, I have skipped over a couple of these goals because I am going to be featuring in my player reviews um, to just kind of analyze the goals a little bit. So you'll be seeing double dips there if I was to include them um, just to keep the videos nice and sharp Mudrik again causing mayhem on the wing absolute beautiful feet gets back in fighting spirit comes back even though he doesn't have it gets the ball back in cheeky little ball across and it's in the back of the net for 3-0 and that is it so as I said lads we do get to quit there and you can see that we do start off division 5 with a fairly decent result obviously we're making our way through the match pass I've only played nine games since the match pass I've been super busy um we will try and get back to the live stream tomorrow Thursday the 23rd of February and we will be doing an open uh, lobby for people I will be making a couple of changes to that going forward for subscribers so I want you guys to let me know your feedback and stuff we also have goals of the week fails of the week we've got everything coming up so I hope you guys are enjoying the the kind of the the content I mean, look, the game, I'm trying to make as much varied content as possible, you know, like proper matchups, um, subscriber showdown, fails of the week, goals of the week, player reviews, training guides, because they're the questions that I'm getting asked. But let me know your thoughts on V2.4, lads. Let me know your thoughts on where the game is at the moment. I would say at the moment it's 70% uh, in favor, 70-30 split in favor of attack-based, offensive-based players. Um, so that's just my opinion. But we'll get into it a little bit more with the live stream uh, tomorrow, hopefully. But yeah, that is it for me, lads. Hope you enjoyed a couple of clips there. We will be back with a Mudrik and Kavratskilia, uh, Kavratskilia uh, player review and training guide. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that. I'll talk to you in a bit.